Ten people who work at DFW Airport are accused of shipping what they thought was meth all across the country. Jack Fink is live now at the airport. And Jack, the feds say they talked about shipping something even more dangerous. Well, that's right, Gilma. The U.S. attorney says one of the defendants discussed smuggling C4 plastic explosives in luggage onto commercial flights leaving DFW International Airport, but that never actually happened. At a news conference this morning in Dallas, federal prosecutors and agents said 10 people who work at the airport conspired to transport 66 kilos of crystal methamphetamine aboard flights from August of 2016 through this year. Nine of the 10 people have been arrested. Seven of those charged work for Envoy Air, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of American Airlines. Two of them work for Spirit Airlines. Most of the flights were from DFW to Liberty International Airport in Newark, New Jersey, and others were to airports in Charlotte and Phoenix. The prosecutors say the employees unknowingly dealt with undercover agents, so the drugs were not real. Even so, the 10 people were paid nearly $130,000. The prosecutors say they ended the conspiracy when one of the employees claimed they could smuggle more items. Indicated that he and his co-conspirators could smuggle anything onto planes, including guns. He also discussed he and his co-conspirators' ability and willingness to smuggle plastic explosives onto the planes. A statement from American Airlines says, quote, at American and Envoy Air, we have an unwavering commitment to the safety and security of our customers and team members. We take this matter very seriously and are cooperating with law enforcement during their investigation. And a spokesman at Spirit Airlines tells me that they have been advised of this matter and will cooperate with law enforcement fully. Prosecutors say the employees use their positions here at the airport to bypass security. We're going to have more on that coming up at 5. Live at DFW International Airport, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.